All right, we got uh, two shows to talk about here today, AW and NXT 2.0. And uh, wrestling-wise, I would say that AW show was far superior. Yeah, we'll get no to, kidding. Uh, NXT here in a while. Yeah, but uh, Jeff Hardy and um, God. Dar- Darby Allen were really attempting to break their backs. So they were trying to kill each other. Yeah, I mean they were to kill themselves. themselves. They were trying to kill the yes. other ones. Yes, you know they well, were. Well, to- I mean they were. Darby wasn't trying to kill Jeff Hardy, but when he did that uh, senton off the ladder and fell like twelve feet and landed on Jeff, who then fell onto a stack of chairs. God, brutal. But we'll get they to that were, match. They were, they um, were, I, I don't know, man, that was, uh, you know, and they, you know, again, in the, the winner, you know, had to go on for a match next week, too. So it wasn't like, I don't know, man, they were, uh, and Jeff Hardy just looks, he looks like he is hurting so bad. I mean, it's like he cannot, you know, I mean, in WWE, they didn't let him do these things. Um, of course, they didn't do anything with him, but they didn't let him do these things. In AEW, it's like he's getting back to do what he wants. But, man, you know, like most guys, when they're, you know, like the, 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 that are daredevils when they're young, they kind of adapt their style and they don't, you know, they tone down when they get to be a certain age. And with Jeff, it's like he's all banged up anyway. And and he's determined not to tone down, so you get what you get. And Darby, you know he's whatever. You know, I mean, I, he's going to be a hurting guy, and he knows it. I mean, you know, he'll if you bring it up, he'll you know tell you that he's not going to last long in this business, and you know he's made that judgment. But my God, I mean, I was watching this, and it's like you know, there's sometimes I get like a little bit. Um, are a lot worried about certain guys doing things and things like this, but this was beyond. It was just like, geez, it's a great match. It really was, but, but, geez, I mean, um, some of the stuff, and they don't even, you know, it's like, it's, it's like, it's like, it's not like it looks bad, but it's really safe. I mean, that's not safe at all. You know, that, that, um, um, you know, he did the coffin drop on the apron, which he's done many, many times, and I would was not surprised to see that one. But the one that um the one where uh Jeff did the Swanton on the ring steps, you know, Jeff's in his forties doing stuff like that. And then that bump the craziest one, of course, was when Darby came off the ladder with that move onto Jeff onto those chairs. I was like and Jeff's trying to catch him. And he did like it didn't it's it's like he he touched him, but it didn't feel like he broke his fall at all. It's like Darby came off the top of a ladder to a bunch of chairs on the floor and like hit the chairs back first. And we had uh, Jeff Hardy, Darby Allen. We talked about this earlier. Uh, just my God, the spots these two guys did. And Jeff, you know, Jeff did an interview, and uh, he was talking about how you know in the old days I would do that senton and. And I wouldn't touch the guy because I would just take the entire impact on the mat. But, dude, I'm hurting. So now I just tell him, it ain't going to kill you. And he just crushes everybody with a senton. That's why he crushes all these guys. So that's kind of shape he's in. And, dude, he's doing sentons off the post onto the side of the steel steps, trying to catch him with that dive off the, like, three rungs up on the top of the ladder. And they did all sorts of crazy stuff in here. And then finally, uh, Darby goes for the coffin drop, and Jeff turns into a crucifix and pins him. And so Jeff Hardy moves on in the tournament, and Darby's devastated, but they do shake hands afterwards. And uh, this match was insane. That's, uh, that's all I can say about it. It was, it was totally cool. nuts. Yeah, yeah. And Darby in an interview, too, talking about how I was not expecting this match tonight. Like, And I thought we would build this thing up for a while, build it up as a big dream match, and all these vignettes we can do, which is crazy stuff. But, you know, Tony wanted it tonight, so we did it. And they did it. And then after uh, Young Bucks, um, O'Reilly, Fish, and Adam Cole all came out to do the big stare down. So, um, yeah. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. 
the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.